With the amount of food we are going to consume for turkey season, it only makes sense that I talk about food, not just food. Actually, the most controversial and split opinionated food options out there. So here are my takes on what I like, what I don't like, and what I think is better compared to their rivals. All right, here are some things I like with little to no explanation. Let's start easy and we will work our way to becoming more controversial. I actually like pumpkin spice. It oddly tastes very appropriate for the season. I like dark chocolate. I used to hate pickles as a kid but I kind of like them now only if it's like by themselves. Same thing with tomatoes. As a kid, I would take them out of my burger, but now I do enjoy them. Speaking of things with other things, I like butter on my popcorn. And I thought the majority of people did, but surprisingly enough, people have strong stances on their popcorn. I do, in fact, like ranch, especially with pizza. I like Hello Hello. I I'm surprised people don't like it. I do like mint chocolate chip ice cream. I also like ice cream with crushed up hot Cheetos. It's crazy, but you just gotta try it. I like cereal. And you're probably thinking, why is that controversial? Well, people have the problem when you eat cereal and I eat cereal any time of day because I want to. I also like chips with everything because it helps boring meals become more tasty. I love coconut water <clears throat> and I'm not crazy for it, but I do like spam. Honorable mention, I think eggnog is mid. I don't hate it or like it. It's, it's just kind of there. Now to ramp things up, here are my takes on food I don't like. I don't like white chocolate. It tastes weirdly fake to me. I don't like durian, but who knows, maybe I'll grow to like it, like pickles and tomatoes. I especially don't like hot dogs and cake. Those are my main things when people ask me what foods I don't like. It will be those two. But I'm not picky, I'll still eat them, but I wouldn't be fond of them. However, I do like cheesecake, pumpkin cheesecake especially because it is my favorite dessert of all time. You cannot make me eat balut. I don't like anything with alcohol in it, not because I'm a straight square, it's more so I don't like the taste and the negative outcomes that comes after. And I don't like drugs and you can't peer pressure me into them. All right. Now to the foods that I think does better than their competitors. Wingstop is better than Buffalo Wings 100%. This is literally why I'm making this video in the first place. For me to rant about how dog shit Buffalo's wings are. I went last night, not my choice by the way, and I ordered the standard mild wings. And let me tell you, I got disrespected. It looks so bad. And once I started eating them, my stomach immediately started hurting. And this isn't even the first occasion where this happened. It happened three times as of now and I've tried all different things each time. One of those times gave me food poisoning which was last time. The thing I tried last night was what I thought was a safe bet. Knowing how bad the other two were. I gave it the benefit of the doubt because this is supposed to be a place specialized in, in wings. In wings man wings. How can they mess it up? Well, it was disgusting and I would actively avoid that place. Wingstop is leagues more better. I digress. My favorite pizza place is Little Caesars compared to the rest. My favorite chicken place was Cane's, but it's so expensive now, so... Eh. Jen, where I'm at, is the best Korean barbecue. They literally have unlimited steak, which is so good. In fact, everything is so good there. Hmm, let's see. How can I be more controversial? Dutch Bros is better than Starbucks. Don't at me. I hardly drink coffee, but when I do, I go for Dutch Bros. Better prices because they are very lenient on deals compared to Starbucks. And for Starbucks, I usually order the caramel ribbon crunch. And within the next hour, it dilutes so bad if you didn't finish it up fast, which even leads me to preferring the caramel frat from McDonald's instead. But besides the price, Dutch Bros is actually great quality for my dweeby taste buds. Those were my takes on some of the most divisive foods out there. Take it how it is. I don't care. You're not changing my mind. Let me know if you have any unique food takes and until next time, happy turkey season and thank you for hanging out with me. Baby girl, you're so dang lovely. I'm surprised you're with me, girl. I'm so dang ugly. When I'm with you, boo, I never got to choose. You're the only one I want to have a kid with to watch Blue's Clues. Yeah, you hold it down with the fam. Filipino food, girl, you cooking that spam. Breakfast, the toast, no butter, just jam. I never feel better than when I hold your hands. 